Hi everybody, this is Angel Arts and welcome back to another brand spanking new series from our beloved Telltale Games company. This is Batman, the Telltale series. I am super excited, super pumped for this, to be live streaming this with you guys. Batman, as you know, is a very well-beloved franchise for many people out there, including myself. Um, and I am especially excited because this particular Telltale Games, once again, is featuring the voice actor love of my life, Troy Baker. As many of you know, I am a big fan of two major voice actors, uh, major voice actors, Troy Baker and Scott Porter. Um, in addition to Troy Baker, uh, Laura Bailey is going to be playing the role of Catwoman, um, which is really cool because those two kind of reunite again in a Telltale game since Tales from Borderlands. Always love Laura's work as well. Um, I just wanted to tell you how is your Batman knowledge? Are you a big fan? I know, I mean, I, 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 I don't read the comics. That's the only thing. I don't read the comics. I've watched virtually every single movie. I watched the animated series, like the entire 90s Batman the Animated Series cartoon. I have, haven't watched much of the newer, within the last decade, I haven't watched new, some of the newer Batman animated series since then. I might have seen like a couple episodes here and there. Um, you know, I watched a little bit of Batman Beyond, stuff like that. And um, I watched, uh, I mean, I, I, I know a, a pretty good amount of mainstream Batman, which is the movies, the cartoons from the 90s, because that's from my age when I was a kid, uh, and of course the Adam West, the campy Adam West Batman. I saw all of those episodes too. So um, I know enough. Uh, I played, as for the video games, I mean, I played the NES and Super Nintendo games back in the day, and I played um, the PlayStation and the Batman, not... I played Arkham Asylum. Uh, some uh, I didn't I hadn't had a chance to live to, to uh, LP Arkham Asylum though. I might end up uh, doing that though in the future. The series, this series, uh, Agency Forty Six says by the way, the series isn't based on any comics. It's Telltale's own adaptation with their own twists to the characters, which I think is awesome. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. I I have not. I don't know anything about this game. I had not. I wanted to go in spoiler-free. I have not watched any of the trailers. I actually make it a point to avoid trailers for games now, just because I don't. I feel that many trailers nowadays give away too much. And even if they don't, I'd rather just be completely blind. I'd rather just not see any of it and just be completely, completely genuine reactions to everything. So, so think, but but giving me those tidbits of information of what the source material is is fine. It's perfectly fine. Um, I know Troy Baker and Laura Berry is in it. It just makes me think of um, Tales from the Borderlands. Someone should draw Fiona and Reese in Batman costumes here. That would be amazing. Oh, and please put Vaughn in a Robin suit. If anyone out there can draw Vaughn in a Robin suit, and then you know you can put you know you can put Reese in a Batman suit as well. I would love you forever. That will go straight to my wall. So amazing. Um, watch Gotham. Great show. Oh yeah, I haven't watched Gotham yet either, but I'd like to. I've started watching The Flash. His voice being in, the, in this makes me expect, expect Hanson Jack to be in it. I think he'd be a good Joker. Oh yeah, Joker is Joker is Hanson Jack. And then, and then we would have, we would have, you know, Laura as Catwoman, and then Sasha as Batgirl? Sasha as Harley Quinn? I, I don't know. I don't know. It's so awesome. Just, just thinking about that is pretty cool. Run, run Robin Vaughn coming right up. Oh, thank you, Mark. I would love to see that. Um, and it needs abs, Mark. Like, it, like, he doesn't have to be shirtless, but I'm saying the tight Robin suit needs Vaughn's abs. <laughs> Just so you know, because <laughs> that's how you can tell it's Vaughn, right? <laughs> because of the abs. Same, first time joining the live stream. Excited for some Hark on Robin action. Oh, yes. Especially if Robin is is played by Vaughn. <laughs> Have you seen Suicide, Su Suicide Squad yet, Angel? Um, no, but I will see it Tuesday. I'm going to see it Tuesday with a bunch of friends. Thank you for asking. All right, guys. Let's do this. Start episode one. Again. Adjust the slide so that the bat symbol is barely visible. I'm 
mean, that's barely visible for me. So, for me, that's barely visible. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, your bat tech color determines the look of Batman's gadgets, gear, and UI. This is so cool! Oh, select the bat tech color. Oh, blue, red, yellow, purple. Oh, gosh. Oh, this is a tough decision. This is going to forever affect the rest of my playthrough. What do I do, guys? What do I do? Oh, no. So... Let's see. See, all right. I think, personally, I think blue and red, and this is my opinion, this is my opinion, guys, I think blue and red is a little overrated. I normally would pick yellow. Go Team Instinct. Team Instinct, yes, the Hufflepuff, the Hufflepuff team, the underdog team. I am in Team Instinct and proud of it. All of you, Valor and, I mean, I'm, all of you Valor and Mystic people, you can go fight amongst yourselves, but Team Instinct, Team Instinct here. <laughs> um, but anyway, Instinct for life. Um, but, purple, I actually do like the look of purple. I'm a big purple fan. Did you guys predict, everybody predicted that I was going to pick purple. Hark is going to go for yellow. Purple, oh come on, gotta let him choose. Purple, lose the only true Batman color. The closest angel can get to dress up a sim. Yellow is closest to orange. That's true, orange is my favorite color. But there's no orange, that's a problem. Instinct for life, mystic for life. Agreed, do not force him to make a choice. <laughs> Team mystic, it's okay. You can, this guy, this is, it's okay. It's a color, so it's fine if they tell me which one I should choose. Of course you would be instinct, this. I love, I, I feel like yellow is awesome, but I, 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 I need to go purple. One. If there was an orange, I would be all over that orange. I would be all over the orange. But because there isn't an orange, I'm gonna choose purple. My first choice. Ah! That, 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 that's so important. Oh, can I choose Bruce's outfits? Like, like they did in Tales of the Borderlands? Because that would be awesome. Can, can, can we have like a quick change? Bruce Wayne at the gym. <laughs> Bruce Wayne at the gym costume. Yes, that's a drink. <laughs> oh god, I spilled all over myself. This is how this. This is how the stream is gonna start. God, gosh. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh. This god. Oh gosh, this is beautiful. This is absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. City Hall, 8.32 p.m. Hey, what are you- <gasps> Oh wow, this game is not fooling around. Oh, that is, that you would not have seen that in the Adam West version of Batman, that's for sure. I don't know if I recognize these henchmen. Who are these? Whose henchmen are these? Unless it's get it open, on it. Hey, you think he's gonna show? He'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. It's getting so exciting. Things are getting real so fast. It's the monorail from the movie. It's... Oh. oh, Christ. Is that Commissioner Gordon? Move in! I think that's Commissioner Gordon. The hell? Oh, it's coming down fast! Get back! Gordon. They're on the Gordon. 52nd floor. I'm going in. Hey! Wait! Wait for backup! Don't need it. Take the stairs. I heard stories, you know. Sent three home in an ambulance. The rest in body bags. No wonder the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. RV With all the other flying animals. Mayor of Gotham. Oh. There he is. <gasps> and it's purple! Oh my god, it's purple! <gasps> yes! <laughs> Embrace the purple, Troy. Oh, 
<laughs> that is awesome. <gasps> oh, well. Bruce, you can't keep doing this. This is a good way to I start the to. game. <laughs> Bruce. No one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. But it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. I can handle it. I can handle it. Can I just, can I just pause? You know, I, 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 I need to check the chats. That's why I'm pausing right, right there at that exact moment. So I can check the chats right now. Um, gunshot in the first, oh gosh. <laughs> Just a decision of color. Gunshot in the first five minutes. Yep, seems about right. Dead guy in the first minute of the game. They look, they look at the Arkham Knights force. The game is set either early in Batman's timeline. I heard. He had to kind of remind me of the bandits in in TFBL. I heard some grunt voices in Suicide Squad. That mask is cool. Hello, Troy Baker. Purple powers for the win. Embrace the purple. Just stare at the obvious. I'll just stare at the obvious Batman coming through the window. Did they use the breathing from Five Nights at Freddy's too? That's true. Bam, Troy's here. Purple, poison damage, yellow, electric damage, and so on and so forth. That would have been an interesting touch. No, who ordered the mushroom pizza? Hello, handsome. Had to say that. People got their shirtless Batman happy. Check that off of the list. Thank you, Telltale, so much. Topless already. Where's my drink? Haha, <laughs> drink. This is like The Walking Dead. Face palms again. Hey, Shorty, welcome back. That's some serious fan service right there. Not complaining, though. Sure you are. Sure. The chats. I just died. Hey, hey, you just want to look at the abs. Yep, totally to check the chats. Don't mind me taking the screenshots. Shirtless Batman with Troy Baker's voice. People, we have reached heaven. Should have known this would happen. Purple, I think I need a cold shower right now. Thank you, Asher. All right, all right. So now that I've finished checking the chats... I can go back to unpause the scene and let it just play out. As just just like just like Bruce says, I can I can handle it, guys. I can handle it. I can handle it. Oh, this is gonna be a long live stream. Oh, how do you guys stand me? Hey, what? There's blood on the thing. There's something. Shit! Like that. The hell did he go? That's Whatever true. got in. Not Don't as good as Bond's out. abs. That is true. Some Peito kiss. Bond's abs is another level of its own. That was totally a D12, guys. <laughs> Batman plays, he is, he's a barbarian. His D&D character is a barbarian with his D12 attacks. Shift plus E. Oh. Oh, all these mechanics that I, that are so new. There's no more Q, 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 E anymore. Batman's, Batman's doesn't have time for the Q -Q 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 -E thing. He ain't got time for that. I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come at! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Oh, 
opening scene is just so well done. It just, it just makes you feel, yeah, this is a Batman game. This is the real Batman. Oh. Oh, shit, you do. I have to get used to this. There's a bat symbol that can appear once in a while. I'm wondering what that means. Shit, you Maybe I get points? Press? Oh, A and D? What? For a blow? New mechanics. I'm, I'm loving that Telltale keeps trying to improve on their quick time system. It keeps adding to it. Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Hi, Laura. Oh, I'm sorry. Behind Catwoman. you, big boy. Heyday. So this is Catwoman, or did she just beat them to it? Catwoman was slow. She doesn't have much. Hmm. Nicely done, my dear. Stay where you are! You're under arrest! Sorry, boys. Gotta get to my... I gotta get, I gotta get to my mansion and take my clothes intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you. So are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Oh, Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. Uh -huh, because she's a black cat. Cut the shit. Uh -huh, I get it. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Wow. Bring it, Bat. Ooh. Catwoman. Batman fight. Wow. I didn't expect this right away. Oh. Hmm. Alright. Oh boy. Go to all that trouble for this. Oh. Shit. A myth can't be killed. You, however, oh. are flesh and blood. Oh. 
God damn it! What? Don't shoot you. No! Wait! <laughs> Sequence. Guess I was wrong about you catching me. I caught you. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Give up. There's no way out. <laughs> Give me some credit. Bye, Bat. <laughs> Curses foiled again. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. <laughs> Bravo, Telltale. Bravo. That was a excellent way to start this game off oh that's so thank good. you <laughs> that is so good i need to catch up on on the chats what guys what do you think so far my gosh that opening sequence oh the adrenaline the adrenaline that was so awesomely well done uh dead guy in the first minute of the game they look like yeah, can i force it the masses um it's like the walking dead some serious fan service right there um Let's see. Here we all here we all respect the abs. Hey, no one's complaining, Hark. This is such a great intro sequence. Um, one of my favorite things about Batman is how it ter has how he terrifies criminals. Yeah, that's that's the big premise of his of his um, his superhero character. I'd be terrified too if a grown man wearing something like that was walking the streets at night. Um, let's see. It looks like a horror movie, criminal's point of view. Yeah, it looks like a horror movie from the criminal's point of view. I love, I love how they how they um, played it that way. All these grunts can do is just fire and pray it hits something. I say Batman is less of a hero and more of a villain for the villains. That's true. He is sort of like the anti-hero in many ways. Yeah, the controller is actually a bit easier at this one. How no queuing in a TT game? Blasphemy! Let me heal you, Troy. Batman definitely plays a level ten half elven rogue who uses gadgets. Names Brucey. Uh, I'm sure it'll appear at some point because the programmers might have that code ready for easiness. Well, I don't know, though, about programming. Batman is the most interesting superior of them all because of his characteristics and his personal background, I think. Um, really gonna fight Batman hand to hand? You'll see, Hark, you'll see. For some reason, Telltale Sonic popped into my head. I'm not a super fan, it's interesting, I'll watch. And there she is, Catwoman is here. Take that. Hi, Fiona. Laura? No, it's Selina. Oh, hello, Cat Lady. God, I love Laura playing the morally gray characters. It's the dream team. The bat symbol tells you how close you are to being able to use a finishing move. Oh! Oh, thank you for telling me that. The elevator's going up? No. Catwoman, I need a drink because of that suit. I wonder if the choices give you a chance to be morally flexible. Probably not as much as Reese, though. This would be the second game where Laura tries to kick uh, Troy's butt. The first was Uncharted 4. Langue cat Langue Language Catwoman. I'm so attracted to Catwoman. Yeah, the language too. Like this game is this game is not your child. Like this is not your you know six year old Batman like media. This is this is the real deal. Somebody getting shot in the head in full view in the first like minute, and then you know the language too. Mad props for Telltale for doing this. Batman villains are famous for their puns. I do it for the thrill. That suit of hers is always a delight. You can just you can just cut the sexual tension with a knife. 
I'm not wearing a tight clothing, but I kind of want her suit. Maybe Laura Bailey will cosplay as Catwoman for the next con she goes to. That'd be epic. I'm now picturing Razakale as Catwoman. I love Telltale Dialogue. You need to do better. Well, the game itself is more PG-13-ish, I think, but don't worry, we can sense ourselves with euphemism metaphors. Black King is Batman, then. Surprise, Sam. Since Batman is still fairly new at this, is the first time encountering supervillains. Oh. Big mistake, Batman. Yeah. Even as a hero, I'd, like be, I'd probably be like, Penguin, I'm so tired of your stuff. After, like, the fifth time. Don't shoot, that's a flag. No, you didn't need that. Not a death flag, though. It'll be a Telltale's shortest series ever. I'll take that, says Batman, unless they release something like an April Fool's. WTF. Uh, you, WTF cop, you stupid dude. Why did you shoot Bruce? Girl, me mad now. Cop violence all over again. God, I guess it's all still a time where police are still scared of him. Gotta hate trigger happy rookies. What a jerk face. Plot twist. Shooter cop is secretly a villain all along. One of the ma minor henchmen. I wouldn't be surprised if half the police force, force in this universe is speculation. And then he dislocated his shoulder. Well, that cop was afraid of bats, or he thinks that bats are the criminal. Troy, you could catch me like that. Batman can get shot and stabbed and still keep fighting. Such a great voice acting from both of them. Hey, Catwoman's gear is purple too. Coincidence? I think not. I think this is a time when Bruce was still young, Gordon too, and he obviously didn't know Catwoman before. Okay, so now I have an idea of, of when this is taking place. She just stole your grappling hook. Oh no. Oh now that's going to sting. And she ruined his handsome face. Takes a drink, had to say that. It'd be hilarious if there was a bit of someone just letting her hang there for like five minutes. Don't un underestimate the cat. I wonder if you fail then you would restart from the checkpoint, no? No, she sold the grappling hook. The epic test is real. Hi, cool Panit5890. Welcome to the live stream. I like the action sequence. Now that what I call it. Now this is what I call a Batman game. Telltale has done their homework. Catwoman steals the grappling hook. <laughs> so how's everybody's summer doing? I wish it was autumn weather already. They must have done a lot of research with the Arkham games, as I see a lot of parallels with that game's combat system. That's why you always keep a spare. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if some people who worked on Arkham's team also worked for Telltale. I wouldn't imagine two having exclusive contracts with the jobs, hopefully. This dark scale of Batman has been around for a while, Hark movies and games. Oh yeah, I, I'm fully aware. I've been noticing that. Um, Telltale's Batman dialogue, uh, it has its moments. Sometimes, rarely, it is bad. Yeah, I, I'm aware of that. I just know that I'm just glad that they continued. Goodness gracious, there's a lot of you. Um, hoping you guys are enjoying the game so far. Um, I'm just saying that Telltale has done a good job of maintaining maintaining that style. Thank you, everyone. All right, let's keep A Bruce. humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. He's so handsome. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. <gasps> oh, Harvey Dent. For too long, I like his this hair, city though. has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. I believe in Harvey Dent. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Yeah. Say hi, Bruce. Should have seen him earlier. Hi, Bruce. Welcome to Wayne Manor. Enjoy my wine. It's expensive. No. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle, so the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. It's just working the night shift. Yeah, well then you're pulling a double. No one came here tonight to see me. Some champagne. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. I could this see shouldn't him just be fine painful. earlier, It's too. not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. <laughs> and they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. So just put on your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This'll help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. 
It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. New face for Gotham. Which, for the record, I, I have to do this. It's foreshadowing. I have, all right, all right, all right. How about uh, a new face for Gotham? Hmm? It's foreshadowing. You? I have it's to do it. Not that bad. I'm gonna use that. Good. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Very beautiful. Oh, I love that woman's necklace. I love her dress, too. Oz? Oz? Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband... Voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. I believe in Dent. After Harvey all... Dent. Whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. I'll be nice to Harvey. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. Huh. I think I speak for half the room when I say friends. politicians are, are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? Caped no crusader. strings attached. Old families like ours should flock together, you know, like birds. You're preaching, birds. dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look neck. at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Harvey Dent is our best shot. Put him in a room with anyone for 15 minutes and that grin will win him over. He's gonna need more than that, son. Oh, it hasn't been 15 minutes yet, Bob. We've still got time. Uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. Interesting. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne mm. in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. Yeah, and tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. You'll have it. Thank you. Well, thank you both. I'm, I'm, I'm playing up. I'm Harvey's wingman. <laughs> Not He's saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. Well, you're welcome, sir. It is a night We're of friends. ringing endorsements. Oh, wow. Oh, well, is hello. That Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale. Not interested. And Mickey reporter Vail. for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, oh. Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind oh. if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. Thanks. Bruce? This is what? quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. Well, Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. It's Sasha! It's what? Sasha! How are you doing? And Snow White. You should enjoy your and own party. Before all the champagne runs out. 
just between us. Politics bore the hell out of me. Too many words, not enough action. Didn't think you were the type to get his hands dirty. Oh, you'd be surprised. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah, it Come looks like... Shaving. Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just, uh, cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding, kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. Is that I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally. Oh, he's adorable. So. Oh, who is this guy? Carmine Falcone? Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. Mm. It's in the service of a better Gotham. For all of us. I don't know, Harvey. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you I directly. I don't like this, Harvey, but since we're such good Maybe friends, it's not some role playing it. I'm trusting you. I don't you. like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, I'll just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. Just to just to explain, guys, like I I know, and if you don't if you don't know this because you're not a Batman fan, it's it, I'm, I don't consider this a spoiler, but I know, I know what Harvey becomes. That's all I'm gonna say. I know what he becomes, but I'm trying to role play this in a way that that Bruce and Harvey are they're 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 pals. They're good friends. They probably have been good friends for a very long time. Bruce is trying really hard to be a good friend, to be a good political wingman. And I, I, I think he trusts him. I think he, he, wants, he wants to trust in Harvey. He wants to believe in Harvey for better or for, for better or for worse. So I'm trying not to allow my knowledge, my personal knowledge of what Harvey is supposed to become. I'm trying to not let that um, metagame my choices here because, because Bruce doesn't know what all of the comics and all of the movies and all of the series have said happens to Harvey, he doesn't know any of that realistically in real life. All he knows is that, you know, he, I think, wants to believe that Harvey is the right person as mayor and he's going to try to support him as much as possible. And if he feels uncomfortable about some of the things that Harvey's doing, he's going to voice his displeasure or voice his discomfort, which is what he did, but still say, I don't like this, but I trust you. And he will have. We'll see what the consequences of that trust is going to be. We'll just. We'll just see. Because I feel like I'm playing. Right now, I'm playing Bruce to be. Um, because I have an opportunity. This is a completely different. This is a completely different um, universe, parallel universe. I'm trying to play Bruce as more of a greener, maybe more naive, nicer, naively nicer guy. Um, just because I can, and because I think Batman is so classically meant to be. Um, more renegade -y, you know, I think. Um, but that's the thing. It's like, it's like Batman is more renegade -y and Bruce is more paragon -y. He's two-faced in that way. He's, he's two-faced, two sides of the same coin. And so that's sort of how I'm trying to play this. I'm trying to make Batman a little bit more ruthless and Bruce a little bit more paragon -ish, if that makes sense. And sometimes that also means doing things naively, like telling Harvey, all right, well, I don't like how you're kind of dealing with these shady people, but I trust you, if that makes sense. Um, so uh, let's catch up with the, with the chats here. Tell tells Batman die along. Harvey Dent for mayor. Was Harvey ever before a candidate for mayor? I recognize Harvey's voice actor, but I can't my finger on it. Well, for most politicians are two-faced. It's Laura's husband. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, 
how let's see, Riley, it was an awkward working project with and Troy and Laura had a ton of romantic type scenes together. Well, and it's a good thing that Telltale tries to approach a new story in the universe. Probably the post before Lucky. Oh, sorry, I thought we were talking about the game. I still want to hear Vasquez, Patrick, War Button, and War Button here. That would be pretty cool. I don't think Harvey Dent's married unless he's in his continuity or he is in his continuity or whatever. I'm just, um, put a dent in crime. It's just so bad, it's good. Make, make a because I because I picked it too. Dent in crime. Gotta love the puns in this hero stuff. Okay, I didn't know that Travis plays as Harvey. I love that we get to see a lot of Bruce. Batman has... Yes, I love that this is... This game is more based around... From my understanding, more based around Bruce than it is around Batman, which I think is... I, I, I really like that a lot. I love that we get to see a lot more Bruce. I like this Harvey Dent. I still don't like this Dent dude. I'm getting it a bad vibe from him. I wonder who Oz is. Is he great and powerful? I'd probably still prefer to be behind the scenes and not show up at big party social events or whatever. I don't, I don't know. I, I know, but I want to watch Gotham, but I know. I think this Harvey is generally nice, but we'll see where this goes. I assume he's busy with Batman, obviously, in his company, but I wonder how much everyone would freak out to Bruce running for mayor. I love Harvey. such a charming guy. Um, major decision that turns into Harvey into two or another person. No, 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 no. It's bad that I have theories that may prove correct. He was deranged. I assume he was just a common mugger. We don't know what will happen to Harvey. He didn't. He didn't. He wasn't a candidate as mayor before, so it could be a new story here. I don't know. It was spoiled to me. Glorious takes a drink. I'll shut up. Is there a reporter lady secretly masked hero or villain? Vicky drinks. Ah, oh, too many beautiful women. I can't deal. It's rude to kick a lady out, Harvey. Hello, I'm Vicky Vale, and I am a love interest. But what if Harvey was a love interest? Harvey needs... This is a new game, guys. This is a new Batman universe. That would be cool if Telltale... If Telltale actually... It's because they're rewriting Batman's story. If they actually changed up Batman's love interest... I doubt that they would do that with Harvey, for example, but it's it's a pipe dream of mine. One can dream. Because I think that would be really interesting for me, but I know a lot of a lot of hardcore Batman fans would probably be offended by that. And I don't understand why. Me personally, I don't understand why you would be offended at that. This is a completely different Batman parallel universe. And if you don't want Batman to pursue a relationship like that, you have the cho you have the choice to not do it. You don't have to do it. Somebody else's playthrough, if they want to do it, because that's how they see their Batman, and that's how they relate to their character, that's how they would relate more easily with Bruce Wayne, let them do it if that option is there, and if you really want to go after Vicky Vale instead, then you can go after Vicky Vale. Anyway, that's, that's just my personal take on that. Vicky's voice does sound familiar. Uh, Harvey's like Bruce. Keep it in your pants. I think I prefer Bruce and Catwoman, but you never know. He could, be, he could build a harem. No, she's just a journalist and possible love damsel in distress. Alfred is so cute, I can't even. Sasha, voice actor, what's her name? It's on the tip of my tongue. It's Fal is Falcone in the Batman uni already, or is he a new character? Wow, the new mayor is already getting help from the mob. That didn't take long. I believe it. Yes, Aaron Yvette. Aaron Yvette is the voice actor. Uh, what, what I know from Gotham is pretty much avoidable, unavoidable, I suppose. A businessman who loves the city and also a mobster, but businessman. That jawline, Bruce, woof, should be forbidden. I may be spelling it wrong. Businessmen are criminals, according to some people. So yeah, Falcone was introduced in Batman Year One in 1997. Also, the game voice qual uh, calling quite loud to hear ya. Is the game volume still loud, guys? I mean, I can, I can turn it down more. I like your approach, Hark. Oh, what about later? 63 people, now we only need six more. Knowledge, use it for a joke. Yeah, I played, uh, I played Bruce really pro-Harvey. Oh, I'm, I'm really excited to see what would happen if I become really pro-Harvey. I'm wondering if there is an ultimate um, consequence for that, good or bad. I would like to trust this Harvey, too. He's rumored to have like a split personality when he, where, where he has both the good and bad side. It was, a nice to, it was nice to this Harvey, too. Yeah, I understand, Hark. I was nice to this Harvey, too. Yeah, I understand, Hark. It's, it's okay to roleplay Bruce whatever you want him to. Thank you. 69 and I feel fine. I wonder if there's a, been an angsty moment with Alfred and Bruce like you're like a son to me Well, you're not my dad kind of argument I think they had that in one of the movies if I remember correctly Well, Batman has been around for decades or something, right? So I'd be surprised if there weren't even any convo signs because that face palm or Asher Girl, I don't trust this dead dude and I'm new to the Batman world But I'm getting a bad vibe if you're talking about the view count. I only see 61 in my mind I like the way you're playing him. No need to explain to us uh, better to be a two-faced than ten-faced. Lame joke. I expect everyone to shrugs. Harvey becomes Joker. Plot twist. Joker is, is the gear because uh, you picked purple. Hey, I fall into fantasy. Welcome to the live stream. Playing Batman and Bruce differently is a clever way of playing. Well, he's taking, talking his thought process, so it's fine if you don't like hearing him talking about his thought process, Andrew. Um, 
Hi, fans. Well, that's good. You're playing the game how you want to play it and not playing how Batman is in the comics and movies. Thank you, whatever catches the eye. Plot twist. Bruce is bisexual. Why not? What year is it now? 2016? Why not? He's, he's a rich, wealthy, successful businessman. He can be bisexual if he wants to. <laughs> Telltale talked a lot about that, how they really wanted to put a focus on Bruce Wayne's character. How is AA tonight's day? I'm, I'm doing great. I'm, I'm loving this game so far. It's such a great episode, and we're only just at the beginning. Just speculation, in my opinion. Well, I don't think they would change his sexuality. Um, well, they're changing a lot of other things, and just because you change his sexuality doesn't mean it changes him. Um, just doesn't mean he's still he's still Batman. He's still Bruce. Um, it's a, it's just a different it's a different take on the universe. It's completely new. It's completely unique to Telltale. And whether or not Batman is bisexual in this game, it doesn't change your Batman in the comics. It doesn't change your Batman in the movies. It doesn't change your Batman in the cartoon series. This is its own succinct thing. Again, just my opinion. It doesn't change any of that. And if Batman, if they were, I'm not saying at all, this is all like pie in the sky, if they were to give an option for Bruce to be bisexual in, in this game, I'm assuming it's a choice. You can either do it or you can't do it, and if you choose not to do it, then your Batman is straight and has always was always straight and always will be straight. Whereas someone like me, I might find that I relate better with a superhero if they share an aspect of me that is very personal to me um, that no other superhero, well, not, I shouldn't say that, most other superheroes don't have. Um, and if somebody like Batman is someone that I look up to and I idolize, um, it's really awesome that we might share some sort of common ground or similarity in that. Um, I don't think that they would change the sexuality. I can see why people shipping Bruce and Harvey. Oh my gosh, as Harvey can be the love interest, new dynamics. Well, Bruce is shirtless in the first five minutes of the game, so we're off to a good start. I'm gay myself, but I really doubt Batman will be gay in any universe. He's always been the ladies' man. Women are his kryptonite. Um, I'm sure there's been plenty of fan fictions that are pretty well done where it works, where it also works. Well, it could be Batman never had long relationships, so why not? And you watch Justice League, I love his relationship with Superman. I ship it. I think the games is louder than your voice, but I can hear your voice fine enough. Okay, well, I mean, if I can probably dumb it down, dim it down a little bit. I still have the bat ships, of course. There's probably going to be ship baiting everywhere, either way. Um, True boss, he's straight, but there could be bisexual interpretation in different continuity. You turn the music volume and game down, but I don't think you adjusted the master volume at all. Um, they would make such a cute couple. So what's your favorite Batman story? Hey, sorry, I had to eat, but I'm back. Welcome, I wait until the Q&A. Another reason for Deadpool game. I don't think they would do it. No, that would... I wouldn't have anything against it. Deadpool is pan, canon pansexual. He doesn't. He does it with everything. Sully, Sully, Sully. Yeah, there's no Reese Vaughn thing after all. It's unlikely. Won't stop the artist though. Get on the fan artist here. They said you'd be able to see and change how people see Bruce and Batman. So yeah, whatever rocks your boat. Okay, there, where's Nolan North? Surely he's in this game somewhere. Um, you know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Well, you couldn't afford it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Carmine Falcone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. See you, Drew. Have fun at the movies. I hope you enjoy it. You're a respectable man, I hear. Why wouldn't I shake his hand? Bruce Wayne. It's fine. I know who you are. I'm just are. shaking his hand. The guy is going to sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Unless Vicky Vale is taking a photo of it. Vicky, you better not be taking a photo of this. For me shaking hands with Falcone. You should know, Mr. Falcone. Falcone my analysts is. say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At... Hey, what's... Private audience. <sighs> Come on, guys. Oh, Harvey. Bruce. You'll be fine out Harvey there. Harvey comes with me. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy I'm for a few man. minutes. Have a drink, have a talk. Harvey he's, stays with us. He's my BAE for the time being. A man's home being. is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever ah, you... Ah, what did I say?
Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But yep. in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. Yeah. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. Yeah. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Lucky Roses, that wasn't a spoiler. Yeah, pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Okay, imagine, this is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked, trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Right. Now, that's a predicament. Post AG is pretty good, guys. He should you listen fine. to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Well, that Not again. for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that, buddy. Nice. We now we get to the intro scene. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Now we get to the intro scene. This is so cool. So cool. <laughs>